All right, this is the uh, Crossman M1 that I'm putting up for sale on eBay from my 40-year collection. Uh, it's the only one I have now. I've had a number of them, but I kept the best. Uh, anyhow, it's a, a real good example. One of the best things is it has the original magazine. See the magazine's in good shape. Open the top. There's the reservoir BBs. The internals are clean and strong to hold the magazine in place. The spring. These are hard to come by because BB guns were for kids, and kids just couldn't keep track of something that detachable as a magazine. The stock is very, very clean. There's no damage to it whatsoever. There's just a couple of faint scratches on this side, I believe. You really can't see them unless you got the light right. I think it's just from having been in the original container. Uh, the barrel has lots of the bluing left. There's a little bit of patina. I don't see any rust. Here close to where the barrel enters the receiver during cocking, there's a bit of wear. Not much. Everything top side is clean. Everything works. The adjustable side's uh, kind of a trip. It works smoothly. Here's the windage adjustment. You can see it going left and right. There's even an elevation adjustment by pushing the peep sight towards the muzzle or towards the buttstock. You can change the elevation. Uh, the cocking lever actually just opens up the BB reservoir here. This hole is for putting in Crossman pale oil, which I've kept it lubricated throughout the years. In 2014, the gun was gone through by Air Ventures in Bellflower, California, and he replaced the seals and lubricated and cleaned all the internals on the uh, air gun. Anyhow, a real clean version of the Crossman M1. It is the plastic stock version. I believe it's the uh, first version of the two. It's got the little darker stock. Can't say for sure, but you'll be able to tell from the photos. Anyhow, I'm going to, and it works perfectly. The gun shoots as it should, as new. Uh, I'll have uh, scenes coming up where I'm shooting it into uh, a target I made and then into a uh, can of beer, an empty can of beer that's been filled with water and it passes completely through and impacts the sand behind it with still some force. I do have a new chronograph coming and if I get a chance I'll try to put it on the crony and then update the listing. Typically BBs don't register well on a chronograph, especially these silver colored varieties I've been using. All right, here we go to the uh, cocking.